Hello, fifth grade. Today we're going to be working on subtracting money. I'm on page 190 in your workbook. You're going to do numbers 1 through 11. You do not have to do number 12. All right, on 1 through 4, it says use rounding to estimate, then determine the difference. You don't have to round. You can just do the regular subtraction. But I'm going to go down to numbers 5 and 6. It says to align, then determine the difference, because 1 through 4 are already aligned for you. So I'm going to do number 5. Remember, I'm on workbook 190. Okay, number 5 is $143.14 minus $92.32. Okay, subtract 4 minus 2 is 2. I can't do 1 minus 3, so I need to regroup. Regroup my 3 1s as 2 1s and 10 tenths. Now 11 minus 3 is 8. Put my decimal point. 2 minus 2 is 0. 14 minus 9 is 5. $50.82 is number 5. Now, if I look at numbers 7 and 8, it says determine the value when the value of n equals $63.74. So we know what n is. Okay, and then I'm going to do number 7. Number 7 says n minus, and in parentheses, we have $51.23 plus $8.82. So we have to do what's in parentheses first. We have to add $51.23 plus $8.82. That's my first step. So 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 8 is 10. 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10. 5 plus 1 is 6. So $60.05. Now I need to subtract n minus $60.05. And remember that n is $63.74 minus $60.05. And five cents. And I don't even, I have to just have to regroup for my hundredths here. Because I can't do four minus five, so I'll regroup this seven as six tenths and ten hundredths. So 14 minus five is nine, six minus zero is six. Put my decimal point, and that's three. And six minus six is zero, so three dollars and sixty nine cents. Now let's look at the problem solving. Okay, you have an ad here with four different art supplies and the prices, and we know that Natalia has $40 to spend. So you have to use this ad to solve these three problems. I'm gonna do number nine with you. A mixed media art set, canvas, and paintbrush set costs $35.07 with tax. How much is the tax? Okay, so let's think about that. We know that we have, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bar for this one. We know that the total is $35.07. That's how much she spent, $35.07. Okay, so she bought a mixed media art set. That's the most expensive thing, so I'll get our biggest part of the bar. This is mixed media art set. Okay, that's $19.99. Okay, and then she bought a canvas, which was $5. Put a C here for canvas, $5. All right, and then she bought paintbrush. Okay, so we'll put PB for paintbrushes. That was $7.79. And then we have tax. That's what we don't know. So when we have a bar, we know this plus this plus this plus this equals my total. So I have to add these three things first and then subtract to find my missing part, which is the tax. So I have $19.99 plus $5 plus $7.79. Glad that up. 9 plus 9 is 18. That's 10 plus 7 is 17. Put my decimal point. That's 10. 5 plus 7 is 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So. $32.78 is the price of her supplies. Now to find the tax, I just have to take the total minus the, her subtotal, or what she spent before the tax. So I will subtract $35.07 minus $32.78. My 
can't do seven minus eight. And I go to my tenth, and I don't have anything. So I have to go to my ones place, and I will regroup the five ones as four ones and ten tenths. Now I'll regroup the ten tenths as nine tenths and ten hundredths. So now I can subtract. 17 minus 8 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. For my decimal point, 4 minus 2 is 2. And then that would be 0. So the tax is $2.29. Go ahead and finish the page, but you do not have to do number 12.